Hey everybody, today we're going to go over the actual taming script. And the reason I'm doing this is because it's actually become pretty apparent to me that the script that you can find on the Discord doesn't work 100%. It gets stuck at taming release. So at that point, you will be stuck and have to click the taming release button every single time. Or if you follow the original script, it will literally disconnect you every single time you go to... Uh, Try to actually release your pet back into the wild so you can go on and tame another one. So what we're going to do is go into our actual script here. And let's go over to what we're looking at. So Animal Taming KD is the new one that I found on the Discord. If not, I will actually post this in the comments. So you can uh, just copy paste it and continue on from there. But when you go into edit, you want to go just control F. And what you're going to want to do is looking on the discord, I can see that the main problems that they're having on this is the actual gump itself. So what you'll want to do is, is you'll want to type in control F here and you will type in animal being tamed dot serial. And what that's going to do is going to pull up right here. Animal Dean tamed serial It's the second option. And it'll say, wait for context, animal being tamed, dot serial, comma, 2000. But the part you're going to want to change is right here where it says gumps, wait for gump, and gumps, send action. So at that point, what you're going to want to do is you'll actually click on inspect gumps. It'll pull this up right here. Now, my, my screen's not going to show it because I've already corrected this, but you'll get a gump to release your pet right up here in the corner. And when you do that, you're gonna to wanna to click on the gump log, and then you're gonna to wanna to click on the gump up here, which is gonna show you like, okay, release your pet. At that point, it's gonna pull up a laundry list right here, and you're gonna see the gump ID. So once you get that gump ID, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go back into your editing here, and you're gonna to wanna to put that wait for gump ID right here and replace whatever's in here with what your gump ID is. This changes on server restarts and it changes a couple of other times. So this will not be accurate um, any longer than the server is going to go, you know, before a restart. So right now I'm looking at 350-736-7327. That could change, but just keep that in mind. Um, in the original, uh, it's, it's showing 10,000 as the wait time here instead of 1,500. Um, that, that's a long time to wait. I like to keep going and <laughs> get things moving. So I put 1500 here and uh, it's working out really, really well for me. So another thing is, is when we close this out, I'll just go ahead and show you how it works. So your character here will just continuously try to tame something that's within its taming level. If it goes up to something that's out of its taming level, it will literally tell you I have no chance of taming that and it will move on to the next. So I'm not actually moving my character right now. The script is actually doing that for me, staying close enough to where it can continuously tame um, whatever it is that I'm trying to tame here. So right now it looks like we are on a wolf. We've got taming attempt 82 going on. Now that does not mean that I've tried to tame the wolf 82 times. It just means that I've obviously tried to tame things in this area 82 times. But uh, what it will do is once it gets tamed, it will rename it, whatever you've set up in the script. And let me get to that part right now so we can show you that as well. So we'll go back into edit here. And in here, rename animal or rename tame animals to kill me or else rename tamed animals to trainee. So I've got mine set as trainee. You can change this to anything you want. You can change it to noodle or whatever you want to put in there. And that will actually change the name for you. That way, whenever you do get it tamed, it will pull up as the name that you've tamed it. So see here see if anything around here has already got my name the trainee a goat <laughs> so i haven't got that one yet but uh it'll also let you know so if you do want to kind of move around you can kind of see in the area what you've tamed and what you haven't so we've got trainee there looks like somebody else got this one under the name tame trainee was me here so this works really really well the only downside to it um is that sometimes if there's not enough animals in the area that you can tame, you'll have to manually move your car your character to another area that has more creatures to tame. But to be real honest with you, that's not really a big deal because you're not supposed to be, you know, obviously away from your computer while you do this anyways. And my, you know, 
in my opinion, because there are mong bats and things like that can attack you. Um, unfortunately, if you're not at the computer and there's two or more, then your character won't automatically attack the other ones. So um, you can actually die to things that would never be able to kill you before. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. And um, so moving on from there, when you get to a certain level, you're going to want to obviously move your character as well to another area that's going to have level appropriate uh, creatures to be able to increase your taming so um, again awesome script a few things wrong with it so if you just go in and adjust the things that I said then at that point it will always work for you the gun won't shut down the game and um, you can kind of move from there so if you have any questions leave them in the comments or you can send me a, a message on the UO Alive discord under gymnastic goldfish and I'd be happy to help out uh, Scripting is not really my, <laughs> not my specialty, but I do understand enough about it to be able to go in and, you know, adjust the gump settings and that kind of stuff to where you can get rid of or update certain things that you need to update so you can forward with your. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.